se Try to fill up the belly, fill up the chest. Trying to feel your collarbone and let them open, expanding your chest. And with the exhalation, allow all you to flow out. A few moments, precious moments of peace. A few moments where you leave all your problems, all your concerns, all your past and reflected future outside the door. You allow yourself these moments of peace. You allow yourself these moments of no worry. Nothing that you need to do. Nothing that you need to change. Nothing that you need to feed. complete state of peace. Kind of a sanctuary. Your own sanctuary time. Allowing yourself to sink into Since your mind, your thinking takes you to other places, other time, bring yourself to this moment, time is now. Bring yourself to this place, here where your body is located. Breathe deeply into your body, trying to discover your body, to feel your body. Feel your body. Feel the feet and the toes and their existence. Feel the calf and the knees and their existence. Inhale deeply and exhale. Discover. Relax. Thighs and 
بعد pelvis and Discover them, feel them, relax them. Feeling the back of your thighs on the mat. Feeling the buttocks. Feeling the pelvis and the waist. Become aware to their existence. Feel the body. Become aware to the body. To the existence of the body. The more you are aware to the existence of every part and muscles, skin, system, organ of the body, you bring it life, bring it energy. Prana. You bring your body into existence. You reshape it, remold it. The more your attention and your energy goes to your thinking process, you strengthen it. And you weaken your body. Stagnate your body. Rebuild your body with awareness, with attention. Reconstruct it. Hatha Yoga. Abdominal muscles and chest muscles. Belly and chest. Relaxing your spine and the muscles of your back in order to relax them you need to feel them to breathe deeply Abdominal muscles and chest muscles. Belly and chest. Release. 
the internal organ and the muscles between the ribs. Relax. The shoulders and the upper arm. The elbows and forearms. vertebras of the neck and the muscles of the neck. Relax. Back of your head on the mat. Relax. The skull and the forehead the eyes, the lips, relax, relax, inhale deeply, Inhale deeply and exhale. Inhale deeply. And with the exhalation, gently and slowly move the feet and the toes. Move the palms and the fingers. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation, close the gap between the legs as you feel the weight of your legs. With the deep inhalation, extend the arms over the head and deeply stretch from toes to fingers. Exhale, relax. And with the deep inhalation, stretch from toes to fingers. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation turn to the right side. And with inhalation we slowly come up from the right side to sitting. Close your eyes and try to feel your body. Do not be disturbed by the, by the thinking process. Instead of just being focused on the voice in your head, try to feel the weight of your body. Try to feel the body. Be aware to any other sound except the one that is in your head. Breathe to the belly. Open your awareness. Breathe deep to the belly. 
stay steady and still and feel. Experience every feeling, every sensation. In order to experience more, you need to relax. Try not to move. Even feel the urge to move. Open the mouth slightly. Close the eyes softly. And feel the urge to move. Become aware to this hidden necessity to move. And do not react to it. Your, for, your first declaration of independence is when you resist your mind and its urges to move. Do not move, even for a few seconds. Feel any pain, any discomfort, any pressure. And instead of moving, open the mouth softly, breathe deeply to the belly, and learn to relax. Relax. Slowly extend the arms on the knees, palm facing up in chin mudra. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation I want you to try to contract your belly and squeeze the belly in as you sink down. Press the chest in, close your shoulders in and bring the chin to the chest as you round the back backwards but you emphasize the squeezing of the belly, squeezing of the chest as you round the back, sink back, squeeze the abdominal muscles. With inhalation, slowly move forward and press the lower back in with awareness. Try to contract the lower back. Then contract the middle back, squeezing it in. And then try to squeeze the shoulder blades toward your spine. And then try to squeeze your upper back in and then the back of the neck slightly in as you raise the chin up. Try to squeeze all the way from the lower back to the back of your head. Squeeze in. Press strongly the back of your arms against the knees, pressing the knees down. But at the same time, try to raise the knees up as a counter motion. That means your knees try to come up and your arms are pressing down. At the same time, you're working strongly in trying to raise the knees as you press down against the knees with the arms. Use this motion to squeeze your back even further inside. Exhalation, release, and start contracting the lower belly, pubic bone area. Then contract the navel area in, then contract the solar plexus in, then contract the chin in, and then try to bring the collarbone in closer. And again, inhale. As you come up, try to raise the knees and press them down with the arms. 
push the lower back in, middle back in, shoulder blades into your spine, moving them inward. Push the upper back in, the back of your neck in, stretching the throat. And try to open the collarbone as much as you can, pulling the shoulders back. And try to lift the ribcage up by squeezing the muscles of the ribcage in, the back of the ribcage in. Work. Activate the muscles. Awareness. Move in. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze in, and open collarbone. Exhale, lower belly, pubic bone area, in. Navel area, in. Solar plexus area, in. Chin to the chest. Collarbones in, squeezing the upper part of your chest, in. Good. Inhale, lower back in. Try to raise the knees while pressing them down with your forearms. Move the spine in and look up. Activate your spine. Really work. Contract, contract. This will be the theme of this class. How to activate the body with awareness. And again, exhale back. Squeeze the lower belly. You will notice how little awareness we have to different parts of the body. How weakness, many weaknesses we have with different muscles in your body. Again, inhale, you move forward, push in. Try to bring the shoulder blades close together. Forward your spine. Push the low back in. Good. Middle back in. Good. Squeeze the belly. You will miss the abdominal muscles. Use them. Good. Open the collarbones. This. Open back. Shoulder blades moving in toward your spine. Middle back squeezing in. Try to feel the muscles. You have layers of muscles on your back. But the condition we get with the body is because we are not aware, it's like those muscles does not exist for us. We don't know how to use them. You have layers of muscles in the abdominal region, but we barely use them. And what you don't use, for you, doesn't exist. So now we need to bring them into existence, we can say. Next deep inhalation, you move to table stance. Palms under the shoulders, knees aligned with the palms. With the deep inhalation, you do the same movement as you bring your back in. Low back in, lifting the tailbone up. Middle back in, shoulder blades into the back, open the collarbone. Press the back of your neck, look up and squeeze all your back in. Exhalation, push and focus on squeezing the lower belly, navel, solar plexus in, push the chest in, stretch the arm. Inhale, slowly contract the back in, tight, 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 and release the abdominal muscles. Exhale, squeeze the abdominal muscles and release the back. In the anatomy, anatomy of the body, to any side of the body or an, a limb of your body, there are muscles back and front. When you create effort with one muscle, the brain sends signals to activate this muscle. But at the same time, it sends Signals to the other side muscle to relax. That means the more you can activate your back muscles, the more you relax the abdominal muscles, your chest muscles. 
in the moment you more activate the abdominal muscles and the chest squeezing in, you relax and open the muscles of your back. Energetical, the more you activate, you bring blood and energy. And then when you relax, it allows expansion and opening the energy that is stagnated. Also, when you are voluntarily creating a strong contraction, as a mechanism of protection in the body, your brain will send a relaxation signal to the muscles that you tense up, helps you to open better the next stretch that you give them. So we are using the anatomy of the muscles and body, nervous system, and the energetical effect to work together with slow movement and intense contraction and stretch. Wonderful. Deep inhalation, head and buttocks up. Squeeze the back. Squeeze and bring the shoulder blade strongly into your spine. Tuck the toes in and go back to down dog. Stretch your arms. Lift the buttocks to the sky. And here we'll start a small fun work. What is the fun work? Is first of all, you lift the kneecaps up, contracting the thighs. You press the heels into the ground, but keep the contraction. You bring the shoulder blades close, close in to press against the spine, and you stretch the arms out. Inhale deep. Contract the belly abdominal muscles inwards. Stretch, lift, press. It's fun, no? Right? Raise the kneecaps. Close the shoulder blades. Stretch your arms. Contract the belly. It's very challenging, down dog, to contract in the abdominal muscles, right? So... Have fun. Stretch your left arm a little bit more because your body sinks to your right. So you need the left stretched out more to create openness and alignment. This is better. Keep breathing, contracting, lift the kneecaps. Contracting or lifting the kneecaps, contract your thighs and helps you to open the back of the thighs. Isn't that fun? Kneecap is this thing in the middle of the leg. And this, when you contract the thigh, the thighs, it pulls it up. You feel? And now you push the heels down. And now you contract the belly. You bring the shoulder with it close together. And you smile. Wonderful. You're looking great. A deep inhalation, you move to push-up position, plank pose. S smile, you look suffering. Smile. Bring the knees down, knees down. No, don't shift the weight back. Just from the planks, knees down. Now I want you to focus on the back of your arms, triceps, these muscles. And when you bend the elbows slowly, I want you to contract them as strong as you can. I don't care how low you go. If you can bring shoulders aligned with elbows, half Chaturanga, it will be very nice. But if not, here is perfectly okay. Contract the belly, press the knees strongly into the ground, and try to spread your knees while pressing them down. This will create a very intense work on the side of your buttocks, hips. Why you give me this look? Yes, yeah, spread your knees like you want to spread them. But because you press them down, it creates a very intense work in the hips, right? The side. This is intense. Not in the face, in the hips. And shoulder blades close together. 
press strongly and strengthen the back of the arms, contract the belly, and smile with the face. This, the smile I have, but I don't have the rest. Bend the elbow so I'll have the rest. It's not this or that. It's smile and work. Whenever somebody smiles, I see it doesn't work. And when it works, the smile goes away. Elbows into the body. Feel this muscle. You feel it? That means it exists. Tie the belly. Yeah, but don't stop. Yeah. Uh, keep pushing the knees aside. And now into up dog. No, this is the other dog. The up one. Because you push out, and now you push the pelvis forward, the pelvis will go further forward. You stretch the arms and you bring the spine all the way in. Because of this strong preparation, you can bring the pelvis forward, bring the shoulder blades in, and breathe to the belly as you stretch. Abdominal muscles and chest muscles squeeze the back in. Good. Work and smile. This is a revelation. In. Good. Bring the toes in. Push into the arms. And down dog. Contract your thighs. Close the shoulder blades. Pull the belly in. Bring the heels to the ground. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe. Contract the belly in. Wonderful. Since it was so nice, let's do it again. Inhale deep. Just more movement. Inhale, push up. Plank pose. Knees down and try to spread the knees down on the ground. Good. Bend the elbows. Go deep in, contract the muscles in the back of your arms as strong as you can and press the elbows into the body. Smiling is not resting. Come back. Tight the belly as much as you can. Contract the belly. I'm suspicious of this smile. Breathe. <laughs> it seems that I'm working alone here. Breathe. Good. Tie the buttocks, relax the pressure of the knees, push the spine in, stretch the belly, stretch your arms, look up, breathe. Good. Bring the toes in, lift the tailbone, push the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades, raise the kneecaps, tight the belly inwards. Breathe. See, your down dog looks so nice. Breathe. Don't cry. Smile. Breathe. Why you take it so difficult? Breathe. Good. A deep inhalation. Knees down. Head and buttocks up. Round the back and take the toes out. Round the back. Head and buttocks in. Squeeze the belly strongly in. And go back to cat stretch. Buttocks to the heels. Arms stretched out. And then relax. <sighs> the beauty of this practice is you don't do much. But because you add more and more muscles into the practice. As release, preparation and so on. It makes the practice extremely intense. You put more systems of your body to work. You intensify the work with the nervous system without exhausting it. Circulatory system, your heart, flow of blood, respiratory system, and so on. Wonderful. Interlock the thumbs. And slowly with the round back, over your head. Over your head. 
Now arms stretched in the catch catch, then just interlock of the thumbs. You are the most creative person I saw. <laughs> Inhale deeply. Come up with a round back, vertebra by vertebra, to stand on the knees. Stand on the knees. Up, arms to the sky. Try to touch with the tip of fingers the sky. They are not too far ahead. They are very close to the sky in the 10th floor. Reach higher. Reach higher. And now I want you to start to contract your back. Starting with your buttocks and the hamstring, the muscles in the back of the thighs, I want you to tie them in. Not the face, the hamstring. It, it goes together, okay? If it helps, don't let me stop you, but with a smile too. And then the buttocks contract in, then the lower back contract in, middle back, upper back, shoulder blades. Stretch up and close your back side. If you start to tremble, it means you're doing something good. Right, tight, close. I want you to feel all the muscles of your back contracting inwards toward your spine. Contract. Feel the muscles and close them. Uh, I touch and you close. You see? I touch and you close. This. See? This works. This. See what happened? The pelvis moved forward and you get a gentle, deep back bend. Tight, tight. Close, tight, good. Shoulder blades in, close to each other. Looking very good. Tight, this. Wonderful. Good. Keep breathing. Tight, 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 actively. Tight, perfect, very nice. Tight, good. Contract here strongly. Tight, 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 tight. Don't stop, don't stop. Now the fun begins. Tight, tight, reach up, stretch, and contract. Good, good. Wonderful. Squeeze the abdominal muscles round the back and go down to table stance. Good. Squeeze the belly strongly in round the back. Inhale, look up, squeeze your back, and then buttocks up. Cow. Squeeze in, strong, 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 and bring the toes in. Exhale, contract your thighs, stretch your arms, fold the blades in, pull the belly in, open the back of your legs. Inhale, move to push-up position, plank pose. Good, stay. Since we did the half chaturanga before, let's put it now in, it's so much fun. So knees down. Bend the elbows as much as you comfortably can, or shoulders aligned with the elbows, and then come up, dog. Good. Toes in, lift high. Stretch down, dog. Lift the tailbone. Lift the knee by contracting the thighs. Pull the belly in. Inhale, knees down, head and buttocks up. Exhale, squeeze the belly in and take the toes out. Go back to cat stretch. Inhalation, come up on the knees. Interlock the thumbs. It will help you a little bit to stay better up here. Tie the buttocks strongly. Tie the back of your thighs. Climb along your back. And then you let it open. When you contract nicely, you can really go back. Good. Come back. And sit down. Close your eyes, open the mouth, and feel. Feel. Feel this moment of release, and it's an energetical effect. Let's try again. Inhale, extend the arms forward, interlock the thumbs. As you rise, contract. The back of the thighs, the buttocks, lower back, push in, middle back in. Stretch your arms and tighten. What you don't feel, you can't use. So try to use. Good. When you start to use, it starts to work. 
Bend back, bend back, bend back. Back, tie the back, tie, 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 tie. Smile more, but tight more. Good. Good, it's working, it's working, it's working. And forward, reach far, contract the belly, contract. Tight, 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 tight. Head and buttocks in. Good, head and buttocks up, toes in. Exhale, down dog. As you go, tight your belly, lift the kneecaps, stretch your arms, shoulder blades in. So nice. Push up position, plank pose. If you can without knees down, do chaturanga. As you tight your belly, back of the arms, and then up dog. This is wonderful. Good. Down dog. Push back, push, 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 and contract the thigh. You're doing wonderful. Knees down, head and buttocks up. Look up, squeeze the back. Round the back, squeeze the belly. That's it. And cat stretch. Inhale, come up. Arms to the sky, standing on the knees, contract, push, 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 squeeze, 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 lift the arms. Wonderful, inhale deep, exhale, one, good, good, stay there, two, inhale deep, contract the shoulder blades, three, inhale deep, tie the buttocks, that's it, four, great, and five, sit down. Bring the back of the palms to the thighs. Open the mouth. Back of the palms. Yeah. We don't bring the palms because it will stimulate the brain, the nervous system. Tip of fingers has a lot of nerve endings. So when they come in contact with something, it stimulates the brain. A lot of information. So you don't touch with the fingers, nothing. Open the mouth. Ah. Allow the chest to move. Keep the eyes softly closed and experience the release of energy in your body. Experience the intensity and the effect. Now with awareness, I want you without actually moving or just a little bit aligning, I want you to squeeze with awareness the lower back in a little bit. Feel how it's affecting your posture. And then the middle back slightly in. And then try a little bit to bring the shoulder blades toward the midline, toward your spine. And then open gently the collarbone. Open the collarbone. Wonderful. And then try to breathe deeply to open the collarbone. We take back here a little. And then breathe deeply. Feel with awareness your new posture. Breathe, belly, chest, shoulders. Keep this gentle tension in your back. It will allow the abdominal muscles and chest muscles to relax. Keep a gentle tension along your entire back. Breathe deep and slow. Very nice. Bring the palms behind your back to the ground. Try to bring the palms aligned with the toes behind your back and lean against the palms slowly. I want you, as you lean back, try to close your back consciously like you just did sitting. Press the lower back in, press the middle back, the shoulder blades, tight your back and try to stretch your chest up. With a deep inhalation, raise the pelvis up. Inhale, lift belly up to the sky. Raising butt, yes. And breathe. I want you to come up by contracting the back. Feel these muscles. See, they are so soft. Try to be conscious and contract them. This. Squeeze. Okay. Breathe. Stretch. Close your back, close the shoulder blades in, and breathe deeply into the belly and chest. The head, you can either keep the chin in or send the head back as you feel comfortable. 
Now breathe, belly, out the belly, push, push, that's it, and chest. Stretch belly and chest. The more you are able to squeeze your back in, to squeeze the shoulder blades in, to tight your buttocks in, you'll be able to open the belly and chest more. Head is as you feel comfortable. Either press the chin in or send the head far back. First far back and then down. Inhale deep. Exhale one. Inhale deep. Close the back more. Two. Inhale deep. Close the back more. Three. Inhale deep. Close. Four. Inhale deep, five, slowly go down, bring the forehead to the ground in child pose, child pose, cross leg, lean forward, cross the leg, forehead to the ground, that's it, relax your back, breathe deeply into your back. Child pose, the arms are at the sides of your legs, palm facing up. Breathe deep into your back, palm facing up. Relax the shoulders, inhale and exhale. Breathe deep and slow. Breathe deep and slow. Whatever is comfortable for you to rest now, even Shavasana. Mm -hmm. Like this is better. Oh, better. Inhale deep and exhale. With a deep inhalation, press the forehead into the ground. Raise the buttocks as you slowly roll on your skull. As you roll on the skull, I want you to contract the abdominal muscle and tight your buttocks. Contract the abdominal muscles as much as you can and tight the buttocks, stretching the neck and back. With inhalation, roll back and relax. And then again, with inhalation, as you raise the buttocks and roll on the head, contract the belly. Tight, tight the belly and tight the buttocks. Genital anus, your base. And then with inhalation, roll back and exhalation, relax. Do it slowly as you try, as you raise the buttocks, to contract the belly and contract the base. As you inhale and roll. Exhale, stay, contract the belly and base even more if it's possible. And then with inhalation, roll back. And exhalation, relax. Feel how in this simple way you allow your entire spine and the back of your neck to open while you feel that with this inhalation you're pulling energy from your base to the top of the head, pressing it into the mat. Inhale, raise, roll gently, tight the belly and buttocks, and this time stay on the top of your head. Stay on the top of the head. Bend the knees and bring the heels to the buttocks. Grab the ankles with the palms. Heels to the buttocks. Grab the ankles with the palms. Yes, more here. Pull in. Point the toes to the sky. Come to the top of the head. Inhale deeply and exhale as you try to bring the shoulder blades toward your spine. Open the collarbone again. Inhale deeply and exhale as you experience the pressure into the top of the head. When you inhale, try to contract the base. And if you can, pull the belly in. Opening the neck and upper back. When you exhale... Stay and hold the posture. 
but allow the energy to flow through the top of the head into the ground. Inhale and exhale. Focus on the top of the head. Inhale deeply. Good. Now inhale to the belly. All the attention in the top of your head. Exhale the rabbit pose. Inhale to the belly. Only the top of the head and the knees on the ground. Inhale deeply to the belly. And then exhale to the nose. Focusing on the top of the head. Inhale and exhale. Exhale. Hattu. Kapalabhati. Exhale. Hattu. 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 Feel the top of the head. Hattu. 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 Two. Exhale, 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 exhale. Two, 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 two. Exhale, 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 exhale. All the attention in the top of the head. Two, 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 Inhale, contract the base. Hold comfortably. Slowly open the mouth, exhale, release the legs down slowly to the ground, the buttocks slowly back to the heels, arms to the side of the body in child pose. Feel, stay down in the child pose for a moment or two. And then slowly, slowly, with inhalation, with the round back, vertebra by vertebra, Come up to sitting, try to feel how you're bringing vertebra on top of vertebra until you are aligning your entire spine and sitting in Vajrasana, sitting on the heels. Open the mouth and put all the attention in the top of your head, back of the palms on the thighs, and feel all the attention in the top of your head. All the attention in the top of your head. Open the mouth gently, allow the chest to breathe, and feel, experience. With awareness, try slowly to move your spine in, vertebra by vertebra. Not forcibly, gently, gently in. Low back, vertebra by vertebra, middle back. Gently shoulder blades, open the collarbone, upper back. Chin slightly in, feel the back of the neck, and stay. Breathe deep and experience. Inhale and exhale. Keep the mouth softly open and breathe. Deep and exhale. Now deep and exhale. Try to feel when you have more awareness to your back, gently pushing, squeezing it in. Try to feel that you are inhaling along your back. The more you are feeling the back, try to feel that you are inhaling along your back. All the way up through the back of the neck to the top of your head. Feel the inhalation rising along your back. The more you can create a structure in your body, create the posture and hold it firmly with awareness, it's kind you are building the structure and the room for the energy to flow. In the moment the body kind of collapses down and we are not aware to it, there will be no flow, there will be no flow of energy through channels. But in the moment you consciously build the posture, you hold the posture, you build 
the space in the channels of energy to flow. You build the walls around the channels of energy and you can feel the flow consciously. Feel how you're making the space from the base to the top of the head by holding the posture with the muscles of your back, by opening the collarbone. Breathe. Hold the posture. Hold it. Not too tight, but do not collapse. Open the collarbone. This. This. Wonderful. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation, slowly drop the buttocks through the right side on the ground. Straight the legs out. And come a little bit forward on the mat. So your heels will be close to the edge of the mat. Bring the palms close to the body. Dandasana. The palms at the sides of your hips. Fingers pointing forward toward your feet. Press into the palms. Push the heels. Pull the toes. Contract the thighs. Pull the kneecaps. Open the chest, roll the shoulders back, and push the spine in. The palms are more at the sides of the hip, not behind the line of your body. It means here, the palms are not behind the line of the body, but at the side of the hips. You can see that the roots of the palms are aligning with your back, with the back part of your body, with your back. Roll the shoulders back. Press into the palms, bring the shoulder blades in toward the spine, open the collarbone, tuck the chin in, push the chest forward by squeezing your back, lift the chest up, bring the chin in, open the back of your neck, pull the kneecaps, push the heels, pull the toes, and try to head to it a small pressure of your heels into the ground and your feet together. Heels into the ground and feet together. Inhale deep and exhale. Squeeze your back in as you push the chest forward and try to open. Breathe. Dandasana, it's definitely not an easy pose. So we bring the palms to the side of the hips. Here. We push and lift this up. Shoulder like this. If you can't reach with the roots of the palm, Press with the fingers. Yes. Collarbone open wide. Chin tucked in. Push the top of the head up. Feel a straight line from the buttocks to the top of the head. Contract your thighs. Lift the kneecaps. Push the heels. Pull the toes. Open the chest. And work. Work. Breathe. Wonderful. Breathe. Try to push the chest forward by contracting the back. Open the back of your neck. Breathe. Push the heels forward. Toes. Activate more and more parts of your body. You look too relaxed and comfortable in this asana. Roll. Open the collarbone. Bring the chin in. Push the top of the head. Push the heels. Pull the toes. Breathe. Lift the kneecaps, contract here. Pull in, push, press. Good work. It's a very strong posture. It's not that strong that you don't need to smile, but it's strong. So make the effort. Palms here. Yeah. Push in. Bring the back in. We worked this entire class to learn to bring the back in. Use it now. Contract thighs. Push heels. Pull toes. Breathe. Good. Wonderful. Breathe. You don't need to lift the buttocks. You need to use the palms in order to squeeze this. Shoulder blades in. Open chest. Push heel. Pull toes. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Extend the arms forward and up, interlock the thumbs, 
and try to feel an elongation from the base all the way to the tip of your fingers. From the base all the way to the tip of fingers as you reach and touch the sky with the fingers. Interlock thumbs strongly and open the back. Breathe. Good. Try to lift up with the deep inhalation. Push the heels. Pull the toes and start to hinge forward. Far forward with the straight back. Try to keep the straight line from the base along your back to the tip of fingers as you move forward and down. Good. Until you reach and hold your feet from above. Paschimottanasana. I'm coming. <laughs> this. Wonderful. Here with inhalation, I want you to look up. If you can't reach your toes, bend your knees a little bit so you can reach the toes and hold them. With a deep inhalation, you look up and you try to squeeze your back in again. You look up and you try to push your back in. Shoulder blades in, contract your back in, push the buttocks back, open the chest, open the collarbone as much as you can, lift them and open them, squeeze your back, breathe deep to the belly, squeeze your back, breathe deep to the belly, try to pull, listen carefully, pull the legs up to the sky, yeah, it's impossible, but it activates your arms. Bend the elbows and try to pull the toes using the muscles in the upper arms, the biceps, the front of the arms. This is why you are doing it, to build them. Because we don't have them, we need to use them, and then gradually they come into being. Pull here. This. You feel? Well, the face doesn't say much. Good. Now, okay. From this position, your elbows bend to the side. You're pulling yourself forward. You look up. You press the heels into the ground and you try to lift your feet up to the sky. You bend the elbows and you pull from the biceps, the front of the upper arms. Good. You try to press the heels down. This is forces to work with the back of your thighs. Press down, lift up. This strong activating is preparing you for a forward bend. And now, you relax the arms. You go down along your feet and hold your heels. You contract the thighs now. And you relax the legs. You don't press down the heels. You open the back of the legs. You contract your thighs. Pull the kneecaps. And then you squeeze the belly and relax the back. Squeeze the belly and relax the back as you go forward and down. Now you need to squeeze the abdominal muscles in. It will allow you to open your back. Squeeze the abdominal muscles firmly. Contract your thighs, and then it will open your back and the back of your legs. Breathe, but squeeze the belly in. The final posture. We prepared for it. Now allow it to work. Contract the thighs gently. Good. Contract the belly, and let yourself. Wonderful. Contract the belly, contract the thighs, and then let the body go. See? Very good. Contract, contract, and let the body go. Wonderful. This looks very nice. Contract the thighs, pull the kneecap. Great. Contract the belly, and great. 
gentle contraction in the, in the thighs, gentle contraction in the belly and then lift, inhale and down, good, very nice, very nice. The best forward bend I saw, good, contract this, wonderful, contract the belly gently, relax the head, inhale up. Exhale, let yourself go down and let it work. Wonderful. Contract. Belly. Inhale. That's it. Keep some tension in the belly. Keep some tension in the thighs. Keep awareness. Do it with a lot of awareness. We want to open, we don't want to strain. We keep some tension and awareness to the entire body. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Keep a gentle contraction in the belly. It protects your lower back. Forward bend, it's a very intense posture. Try to feel now that you are inhaling from your heels along the back of your leg, along your back, and exhale down from your arms to your feet. We count another five. Inhale deep from your heels along the back of the leg, along the back, and exhale from the arms back into your feet. Inhale from the heels along the back of your legs, along your back, and exhale back to your feet. Inhale deep. Feel with the mind. Go and travel behind the legs and back. And exhale, travel back from the arms to your feet. Feel the circle of breathing. Inhale deep and exhale. Bend the knees a little bit. Bend the knees a little bit. That. Last time, inhale deeply and exhale. Next inhalation, drop the arms to the side of the body. Slowly, just drop them. Don't do any action. And rise up as slow as you can with the round back. Bring the back of the palms to the thighs. Open the mouth. Close the eyes. And wait for a few moments. Doing nothing. Just experiencing. Open the mouth. Softly close the eyes. And feel. Every feeling. Every sensation. Feel. Feel. Breathe. Slowly, slowly, bring the palms under the buttocks with the palm facing down. Palm under the buttocks, face, palm facing down. Inhale deeply. And slowly, slowly, at the same time, we lean back. We bend the elbows toward the mat behind you and we balance on the tip of the tailbone as you raise the legs up. And stay before the elbows touch the ground if you can. Good, good. This is wonderful trembling. Let the tension leave the body. Good. If you didn't smile this entire class, at least give me a small smile now. Oh, this is very nice. Nine out of nine is a nice smile. Breathe deeply. Don't bite the lips, they are not too full. Yeah, keep smiling. And slowly bring the elbows back as you reach to the toes. Keep the chin in the chest, in the chest, but lift the chest high. Contract your back in, especially the entire back. Lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulder blades, collarbone open. 
in this variation of the fish pose, with your legs off the ground, the chin in, and you have a huge smile on your face, lying on the beach and having fun. Breathe deep and slow. No resting yet. Yeah, no screaming too. Don't alert the neighbors. Bring the feet down, take the head far as you can to the wall behind you, and then down to the ground. Squeeze your back, push into the elbows, and try to make an effort. Last effort with the muscles of your back inwards. Shoulder blades in. Yeah, we can relax the legs. And lift the chest. This. Inhale deep. And exhale. Breathe. Relax your belly and chest but squeeze your back in. Try to feel the muscles of your back and bring them inward. Breathe deep into the chest. Try to open here. Open the chest. Consciously push, 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 push. Wonderful. Open them up. Perfect. And again. Push, 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 push. And continue. Inhale, lift and open the bone in the center of your chest. Open the sternum. Open it. Open it. Open it high into the sky. Inhale deep. And exhale. Inhale deep. And exhale. Long drop, long drop, keep it in. Inhale deep. And exhale. Inhale deep. And exhale. Inhale deep. Lift high. Try to feel that you want to open this area. Open the center of your chest. Inhale deep, push the shoulder blades in, <sighs> wonderful, inhale deep, raise the head up, exhale, sink down, spread the arms and legs wide, open the mouth, tuck the chin gently in, and do nothing, <sighs> relax. Keep the mouth softly open. Allow the lower back to sink into the mat. Soft and gently the expression on your face. With a lot of awareness to every part of your body. Allow the body to sink, to relax. Maintain the mouth softly open and the eyes softly closed. Relax. 
feet and toes. Feet and toes. Relaxing the shoulder blades into the mat against your back.
Dominal muscles and chest muscles. Dominal muscles and chest muscles. Elbows and forearms. Palms and Muscles of the neck, the vertebras of the of your head and skull, back of your head and skull. Relaxing the forehead, relaxing your eyelids, the ball of the eye, the lips, relax, allowing the ball of the eye to fall back deep into the skull, 
allow yourself to fall back deep into the space behind you. Don't be afraid. Let go. Relax. shoulders and exhale inhale deeply belly chest and shoulders and exhale inhale With the exhalation, move the feet and the toes slowly. Move the palms and the fingers gently with awareness. Inhale deeply. And with the exhalation, as you feel the weight of your legs, bring them slowly, slowly closer together. With a deep inhalation, extend the arms over the head. And with the exhalation, relax. With a deep inhalation, stretch and reach from toes to fingers, trying to feel your entire body between the toes and fingers, stretching out. With the exhalation, we turn to the right side slowly. And with the inhalation, we come up to sitting. Conscious. Sitting. Try this sitting to be different. As you are sitting, I want you gently to try to press the knees down toward the ground actively. I want you to try to press your feet into the ground with awareness. To press the buttocks down with awareness and then to move the lower back in, the middle back in, the upper back in, the shoulder blades toward your spine. Open the collarbone, make room in your chest. Bring the chin slightly in and feel the stretch in the back of your neck. Actively feel your forearms, your upper arms, front and back. Breathe deeply, and for a few moments, a gentle contraction in your entire body. Gentle, conscious, soft contraction. The belly slightly contracted, the chest lifted up, your back slightly pushing in. Breathe, and now I want you consciously to maintain contraction, but less. Less, less, less. And then there is enough contraction to hold you in this beautiful seated pose with the minimal tension, just enough to maintain this beautiful posture. Steady, still, comfortable and relaxed. Asana, seated pose. 
Breathe deeply and feel, be conscious to your entire body and then to your being. And develop the awareness to feel, to become conscious. As you develop your awareness to become first conscious to your body. Become conscious to your body. You become conscious to who you really are. I'd like to thank the teachers of Bodhi Yoga from the East to the West. Thank you all very much. Have a beautiful and peaceful evening, a beautiful and peaceful weekend. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste.